Good morning, everybody. We are starting the final day covering Men's Elite. We are over at Bay One and they are underway. They are taking on Inman right now. We'll talk about the stage, but let's first turn the camera around. And introduce our elite men this morning. Jacob Hepner sitting in second overall right now. Next to him to the left, Kurt Finnell, he's sitting in first. Center of your screen, Nick Palacio, seventh overall. Austin Aylward sitting in fourth. And Jacob Horton sitting in ninth. As we mentioned, this workout is called Inman. It's one of those staple workouts that we have here in Tactical Games. The last time our athletes did this stage was in Nationals last year. It was the final stage of the weekend, the top five elite men and top five elite women did this one. But before that, we've done it a handful of other times. So we're bringing it back for, for regionals this year. What's all included in it? And the way that it works is the reps go down as the weights go up with the sandbags. For the elite men, they do three, five reps at a 150 pound sandbag over that bar, three reps at a 200 pound sandbag over the bar, and then one rep at a 200 pound sandbag over the bar. Jacob Hepner leading the way. They're looking at four total rounds of this where they get their sandbag work and then move to the firing line where they have nine shots with their rifle, four, uh, nine shots also with their pistol, Rifle and pistol will be shot from any position on the barricade. Athlete's choice. So Jacob is in first, all the way to the top of your screen. Nick Palacio is in second currently. And to the left of Jacob, Kurt is in third. Austin also making his way to his second set of sandbags. Jacob getting that 200 pound sandbag. Up and he will advance, 250 pound sandbag rather. So both him and Nick Palacios to their second firing sequence. This specific group of men's elite, it is a close competition this morning. They only have three stages left. Typically there is an additional stage for elites, but not this weekend. So those percentage points are gonna be weighted even more than they normally are. Jacob, we said he was sitting in second overall. He is at 96 percentage points. Kurt Fennell, Fennell he's in first with points and so far for this first stage of the day Jacob leads advancing now to his nine shots with the pistol as I mentioned you can shoot from any style over that barricade so Jacob will choose to stand over Using the side, adding stability to his shots. Oh. 
Both Nick and Jacob are on their first sandbag. How are we doing with check -in? Into this third round, time cap, 15 minutes. Jacob now moving to his second sandbag, the 200 pound sandbag. Nick also moving to the second sandbag. They'll have three reps here. Jacob about one rep ahead of Nick. Jacob now moving to the 250 pound sandbag. Nick doing his last sandbag at 200 pounds. And you can see Jacob has a slightly different strategy where he was done with his sandbags before Nick, but setting him up for the next round, he reorganized those sandbags so that when he gets done at the firing line, he can go immediately into that first set of five sandbags at the 150 pounds. Jacob's been competing for about the last three years or so, but Nick, all the way to the top left of your screen, this is only his first Tactical Games competition. He is our operation manager here with Tactical Games, so he gets to test a lot of these stages at our regional events. But the first time out here with the elite men. Jacob and Nick choosing the same strategy for pistol work. Clear. And both get done just about at the same time. Nick rearranging those sandbags. He'll be the first one to strike over the All right, Nick. bar. It's on, turd ball. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Little smack dog, Jacob well, calling him a turd ball. He's a little faster than you right now, Jacob. <laughs> it's one thing we really like about tactical games is, is the athletes like to have a little bit of smack talk while they're competing. <laughs> As if their heart rates weren't high enough already. Well, but Jacob We'll get to his 250 pound sandbag first. Nick takes a deep breath. Jacob up and over, no problem. Nick is over <laughs> and back to the firing line. In the center, again, keeping an eye on Kurt. He is your current leader Seven for the men's elite it. division. Seven minutes before that. 15 minute time cap. Kurt now to his sandbag. So just about a round behind the leaders in this heat. Jacob and To the right, Nick to the left. Nick will clear his rifle first, moving to the pistol. Pull it back a little bit. You're leaning forward. Okay. Staying down. Nick about five shots ahead of Jacob. They're looking for nine total shots. Ten seconds per miss. And Nick will cross that finish line first. <laughs> and Jacob, just a few seconds behind, but as we mentioned with tactical games, it's not always who crosses the finish line first that's the winner. You have to take into account how they shot. Nick, <laughs> here, I'm gonna let you hold that. Yeah. Whew. Yeah. That Way to fun. start the morning. Yeah, it was a rough morning after yesterday. Um, that run took a lot more out of me than I was expecting. But uh, this is kind of bread and butter for me and I've been practicing this a lot. So, how about you thought I shot? 
happy with my performance. So we'll see, uh, see how well I did downrange, but I feel pretty good. How many times have you practiced Inman before? A lot. I practice it probably two to three times a week because I know it's always a staple. So either Five Inman or something similar, Five bag over bar with another type of implement or workout associated with it. <clears throat> but yeah, it's been a lot. Yesterday you spoke about being in these stack heats, this one specifically, and how the men push you. What was it like when Jacob was throwing some smack talk on the floor? <laughs> oh, I had to remind him that I beat him at two gun yesterday, so <laughs> I'll take the one win, even if it's the one win I get this weekend, I'll take it. Um, but again, this is like a staple event for us. I knew I was going to be in a stack division, so I really wanted to practice this and make sure I, I had a good performance here. And after yesterday, I knew I had to have a good start this morning, so. Congrats, great work. Thanks, appreciate it. Well, there you have it. Practice it two to three times a week. <laughs> That's how you beat Jacob Hepner on one of these, apparently. Oh, and there goes Kurt. Crossing the finish line. Three men here still on the floor. Four minutes remaining. As they finish up. Jacob Horton clears his rifle, moving to the pistol. And good, that will wrap up Inman, stage number five of seven this weekend, men's elite. This is heat number three started today. I think people are enjoying the overcast weather this morning. The sun's not shining, so a little bit cooler today for them to get this underway. Seven events on the line for the men's elite division. It's going to be a race between Kurt and Jacob with just two stages left for them. We're gonna have more full stages on YouTube. Also check out our Instagram and we'll see you guys in a bit for the next one.